Hi everyone, welcome to Ship Talk. My name is Nathan, Director of Marketing here at Logistic, where we help businesses control and reduce shipping costs. And today I'm joined by Logistic co-founder, Jared. Nate, good to see you. Good to see you too. And today we're gonna to be talking about controllable shipping fees. Yes, we are, let's do it. All right, so let's just jump right in. What is a controllable shipping fee? Controllable in air quotes there. Fees in the small parcel industry are often referred to as accessorial fees. And there's literally dozens and dozens and dozens of accessorial fees. And the carriers keep coming up with new accessorial fees. Uh, controllable fees are ones that are avoidable. Whereas uh, uncontrollable fees are fees that are essentially unavoidable. For example, uh, the fuel surcharge. That is just an accessorial fee that is essentially added to every single shipment. And there's really no way to uh, avoid paying a fuel surcharge. It is what it is. And if you ship a package, there's going to be the transportation charge associated with that package for the service weight and zone. And then there's going to be a fuel surcharge tacked on top of that at, at a very minimum that, that doesn't include any of the other uh, accessorial fees. Okay, so what are some of the most common controllable shipping fees? Yeah, some of the, the most common ones that come to mind are late payment fees. Uh, you have address correction fees, and then you have extra large and heavyweight fees. Those are typically the ones that would fall under the controllable bucket. How can a shipper eliminate, or maybe I should ask it this way, can a shipper eliminate late payment fees? Yeah, so there's a couple ways to address that. Uh, the most obvious is, well, pay your bills on time sure. within the agreed upon um, payment terms. Uh, that's one, but shippers can also negotiate those terms. For some companies, you know, asking for extended payment terms or modified payment terms is a way to give themselves a little bit more time before those late payment fees kick in. But yeah, uh, UPS and now FedEx is charging late payment fees. Um, as you can imagine, they like getting paid on time as, as most businesses do. And so just, just ensuring that uh, you understand as a shipper when those late payment fees kick in you can save some money there as it re relates to seeing those fees on your invoices. You also mentioned address correction fees as a common controllable shipping fee. Are those a fee type that can be eliminated altogether, or is that something that you're more likely to just mitigate? Definitely uh, mitigate. Um, it can be difficult to eliminate them completely. Uh, for those that are using address verification software, that, that can definitely help. And then for those that ship to repeat customers, there are also cases where uh, an address correction fee is applied legitimately. So if you just and you type in the wrong zip code or the wrong street street address, that is a legitimate uh, situation in which an address fee uh, would, would be applied. Identifying for those that ship to repeat customers, those that may be entered in uh, your system incorrectly and then going into your system and correcting those incorrect addresses so that you're not being hit with those again in the future, that's a great thing to do. Um, and then for those businesses that don't typically ship to repeat customers, um, as I mentioned, address verification software can, can greatly uh, mitigate or minimize the occurrence of address correction fees. But it's definitely something that, that can and, and should be controlled. So what about extra large and heavyweight fees? Is that something that can be avoided? The reason why, uh, UPS and FedEx continue to up the charges for extra large and heavyweight packages is it, they don't like those packages sure. uh, in their systems. And so, you know, there's ways to optimize packaging to ensure that you stay within the uh, size and volume requirements at which those fees will apply. But at some point, you know, it also makes sense to potentially explore shipping those packages with other carriers, uh, you know, LTL carriers, for example, um, just looking at other means uh, or alternatives to, to move some of those, those larger, um, those larger packages where 
you know, you've optimized your packaging um, and dimensions all that you can and um, are still not able to get underneath the threshold at which those extra large and heavyweight uh, fees come into play. So this one wasn't on your list that you had mentioned previously, but we know that third-party billing fees are, are fairly common, but are they considered controllable? Yeah, I consider those uncontrollable. Uh, you know, typically drop shippers, for example, that's just part of their business model, right? And so they're gonna see the third-party billing type that's what's going to be the billing type that shows up on their invoices. And so that's just the nature of, of their business. And uh, along with third-party shipping comes, as, as we know, third-party billing fees. There, there are some ways to uh, mitigate and reduce uh, that particular fee type. But yeah, that would be one that would be considered uh, an uncontrollable. Okay, so you already mentioned fuel surcharges or fuel fees. Uh, you mentioned third-party billing fees is something that's maybe not necessarily controllable, uncontrollable, unavoidable. Are there any other fees that are just completely unavoidable? Most of the others that, uh, that I didn't mention uh, are going to be ones that fall in the uncontrollable bucket. You know, we talked about fuel surcharge. And you have delivery area surcharge, DAS. You have residential surcharge. Um, you know, all the other really common ones. You know, if your customers are located in zip codes where the delivery surcharge uh, applies, like there's really nothing that you can do about that. Um, if your customers are having you ship their package to a residence versus a commercial address, well, the residential fee is going to apply. Now, what you can do as a shipper is audit your invoices to make sure you're not being billed for fees when you shouldn't be. So for example, if you ship a package to a commercial address and you're billed a residential fee, well, that's something that shouldn't happen. It does happen. Mm -hmm. um, and unless you're looking for that and leveraging technology to identify incorrectly applied accessorial fees, chances are you're paying for some accessorial fees when you shouldn't be. Pretty much everything else falls in the, the uncontrollable bucket. At the end of the day, all accessorial fees are negotiable. One of the problems a lot of shippers run into is first identification of those fees and understanding how your fees affect your shipping pro profile. You know, a, a great KPI to be uh, aware of is your accessorial fees as a percent of your total spend. There's some guidelines that shippers within certain industries should fall within. And if you're, you know, you fall outside of those guidelines, chances are there's an opportunity there um, for optimization uh, of those fees. And when I say optimization, uh, I mean, number one, making sure that you're addressing the controllable. But number two, as I mentioned just a minute ago, every accessorial fee is negotiable. And so understanding which ones are negotiable, but then also uh, understanding how the carriers view those shipment characteristics, being able to ask for or request discounts on certain fees that are within reason. So, you know, the fuel surcharge, for example, uh, the, the carriers don't like to discount that one. And so if you're going in thinking you're gonna get a big discount off your fuel surcharge, it's not all that likely to happen you're much more likely to get movement on other types of accessorial fee concessions or discounts from the carriers like delivery surcharge or residential. Yeah, thanks for the insight on that. Even if a fee or surcharge isn't avoidable, it's most likely negotiable. Absolutely. Cool. Well, Jared, thank you. Appreciate it. Of course. It. Good chat with you, Nate. Always. For more information on how you can join thousands of other businesses to control and reduce your shipping costs, go to Logistic.com. That's www.logistic.com. Create your free Logistic account today to send cost packing. Until next time, take care.